Hey guys, today we're back with another Rangers review. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Taylor Firearms Smoke Wagon Tuned 4.75 inch 357 Magnum. Stay tuned for this one. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. Once again, today we're gonna to be reviewing the Taylor Firearms uh, Smoke Wagon Tuned uh, 4.75 inch barrel and 357 Magnum. First off, we will make sure the gun is unloaded. To do that, you will get this side lever out and you will go through all six cylinders. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Gun is fully unloaded, so it is safe to talk about. Let's go ahead and set this to the side for a second. Uh, if you'd like to do a more up close look to it and see exactly what comes with it from factory, uh, you can check out the unboxing review, which will already be up on the channel, but we'll go through it anyway just very quickly. You have this Velcro case just to keep your gun in while you're not using it, just keep it from getting scratched up or anything. You have your lock with a Taylor Firearms uh, logo on it, it looks very nice. And you also have a uh, booklet of other products that Taylor Firearms and Company has. So you can see here, and once you fully unravel it, you can see all the other firearms that they can offer. So it's very nice. Uh, it really kind of looks like a poster once you have it uh, fully undone and your user's manual. So we'll go ahead and set all this to the side. But like, once again, like I said, if you want to get a closer look at it, you can check the unboxing review and that will be about it. So guys, this right here is the Taylor Firearms Smoke Wagon tuned in 4.75 inch 357 Magnum. So what that means is that the tuned model is a tad bit different from your normal one because uh, it has actually been t sent to pretty much a custom shop and they do a full hand polishing on the internals of it and they also change a few of the springs out to make it a uh, more enjoyable experience. You can tell whenever it has been tuned because man, this, this gun right here it is smooth as butter and you can just hear that click in it and and it's just this this gun you can tell was made with uh with some very well built uh quality t uh, controls to it and uh, that's something that we all love to see a gun that is uh, built very well on a high high standard and uh it's uh, been one of the best uh, single action uh, pistols i've ever actually fired so as you can tell here like I said, it's a single action revolver. So how that works is uh, you actually will uh, half cock it like here and that will let the cylinder roll freely. But how you would load it, you throw the side, place it aside and you can actually fully load it like this. And to eject, you also just use the ejector's rod and switch between all six cylinders to eject your brass once it's been fired. And here's a full cocking position. You can see, and this uh, single action trigger, man, it is it is something else. It is about around uh, three pounds from factories, what they're calling it, but this one right here, I swear, is less than three pounds. I mean, you, you literally breathe on it. Uh, as you all know, I've uh, dealt in revolvers for a long time. I love revolvers. Uh, double action is mainly what I've been uh, messing with, but now uh, this right here has the best single action uh, pull out of any gun I've ever had. I mean, I'm, I'm dead serious. I think you could breathe on this gun and it would go off, which is great for a, a competition style shooting. But now uh, every bit of this gun is just made uh, just to the highest quality, if you want my dead honest opinion. The uh, ejector rod is so smooth whenever you go to eject your used casings. You can see here, I mean, you can, you can just go throughout all six cylinders with ease. And uh, this gun is just one that you will take to the range and really enjoy your range day with it. And you know, whenever we're in a now uh, automatic type of uh, firearm era to where you don't really see as many of these single actions, whenever you get this one in your hand, you can really appreciate the craftsmanship that went into this uh, revolver. And uh, that's something that every time I get a single action gun in my hands and I go and have a range review on it and have a range day with it, uh, it just brings you back to uh, to really enjoying these revolvers. And uh, it's very nice to see that Taylor Firearms is actually bringing a lot of these older models to us to where we can actually buy them at a reasonable price. This gun right here with the uh, tuned edition of the Smoke Wagon 4.75 inch barrel and 357 Magnum will run you about around $757 on their website. 
Uh, I'll leave the link in the description below to where it will take you straight to the Taylor Firearms website to where you can look at every single firearm that they actually currently have. Uh, so if you want to uh, check out this one or any other Taylor Firearm, you can uh, go through every one of them that they have on there. But if you want the non-tuned version, which if I were you all, I would uh, check out the tuned version just because how silky smooth this gun right here is. I mean, it, it's, it's a work of art. Just being dead honest with you guys, it is truly a work of art. But uh, this firearm here uh, with the non-tuned version will run you about around $511, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere around there. But uh, you can check it out on the website for yourself. So, the thing about the single action revolvers is that even though these are not as prominently used currently now in self-defense, we have uh, mainly uh, semi-automatics, there is a place and use for these guns right here. A lot of people say that, you know, a single action revolver, there's no use in them anymore, which, uh, being dead honest with you, I think that them uh, guys are 100% wrong. Uh, this gun right here will be a perfect gun just to have around the house to show to your grandchildren or your children or anything else or have yourself. A lot of people nowadays are going back to these guns just because of how much vintageness is behind them because this is what everybody carried back in the wild west and that's uh, a lot of people enjoy being able to feel in their hands what uh, our forefathers actually had as the first uh, modern kind of firearm and uh, that is one thing i absolutely love about having these uh, single action revolvers back to where we can physically afford them because with this gun right here if you're looking at a colt uh, even if you can find one you're looking at 2500 to 3000 dollars and being dead honest with you guys this gun right here is just as much gun if not better than a Colt because uh, this is one that I feel like uh, Taylor Farms stands behind their company. I've uh, talked to some of the representatives and they actually have sent me this gun to review and I highly appreciate that. But uh, just from what I've uh, felt with with the representatives and how well they've already helped me out and everything and uh, I just feel like they are a very well built company from the inside out. And being uh, honest with you guys, nowadays that's just as important as the guns that they put out to the line is how well that you can actually uh, be with your uh, customers. And that is something that I think Taylor Firearms is top notch with. So you have the 4.75 inch barrel, so you get a good sight radius, very accurate gun in it as well. As you can see in some of the uh, shoots I've already showed off on the video, uh, this is one of the most accurate single action revolvers I've actually held and fired. And with that uh, single action pull to it and that single action uh, trigger on it, I mean, it is it is one of the best that I've uh, ever actually played, played around with and shot. And I'm just, I'm just very in love with this revolver. And uh, you just can't beat it. But now, this gun right here has a free-floating uh, actual firing pin on the hammer. So a lot of people are kind of like, you know, don't dry fire this gun, but where it's free-floating, I feel like it would not hurt this gun near as bad as if it was uh, connected straight uh, to the hammer. So if you want a uh, single, or if you want to dry fire it for actually uh, just, uh, you know, getting well used and well known to the trigger and how the trigger pull feels, uh, I feel like you're safe to do that, but you might not want to do that yourself. But I feel like you would be safe just from what I know with uh, firearms myself. I don't think it would damage it. But now how you would want to carry this gun where it actually has a uh, firing pin on the hammer is that a lot of people would like to carry this in a uh, dead cylinder type of way, meaning that one of the cylinders that you actually have the hammer uh, fall on is one that does not have a actual uh, bullet in it. So you would actually have five rounds in your cylinder instead of six. So say if you actually had this one on the dead cylinder right now, you would have uh, the gun or the hammer, sorry, in the full down position and you can carry it like that safe because it was kind of a thing back in the old west that if you did carry on the live cylinder and you was riding on a horse or fell off of it or something, there's a possibility that the hammer could pull back lightly enough and go back forward to where the gun would go off and the bullet would travel down the barrel and where it was aiming at would be where it would be hitting. So, you know, that was a, a safety precaution that a lot of uh, the people in the old west actually carry was on a dead cylinder and I can 100% fully understand that. But uh, like if you're wanting to uh, carry it around, like saying a hunting scenario or a horseback riding or trail hiking or anything like that, I would say 100% carry with a dead cylinder. But now uh, these guns right here are built to the highest quality. And I mean, just hearing all the, hearing the click in this, I mean, you can tell this is a highly well-built firearm and I 
I'm truly blown away with how well uh, quality this uh, pistol right here is in itself. So this is the model 1875 caliber 357 Magnum. It's on the barrel. This is the smoke wagon. Your patent on the side of it says patent September 19, or September 19, 1871. Patent July 2nd, 1872. On the, on the revolver uh, cylinder, you actually have all of the uh, import numbers on it. On the cylinder, you have uh, 3140. And on the other side, it has the import marks on it because this is actually imported from uh, Italy. And this is a Taylor Firearms exclusive made by Uberti. So very nice firearm, walnut thin grips on here and uh, the Taylor Firearms logo on them, very nice. And you have the channel sights on it with a wide channel in the back. So you can get that very uh, precise shots with it. But now guys, uh, like I said, this is 100% one of the best single action revolvers I've ever reviewed and I really do enjoy this and I think you all will enjoy it too. Uh, uh, like I said, Taylor Firearms actually had sent me this pistol to review and I highly appreciate that, but you all know I always give my honest opinion about this and really there is no cons that I can think of besides it's not a modern, uh, you know, semi-automatic uh, handgun like for self-defense, but you still can carry this firearm with self-defense. You have the powerful 357 Magnum cartridge and this will be a, a powerhouse of a weapon if you ever needed to use it in a self-defense weapon uh, type of scenario, but you know. It's not really built around that anymore because of what we have out now. But uh, that in itself really isn't a con, don't get me wrong, but this isn't one that you would really uh, think would be a modern uh, self-defense uh, type of firearm. But now, like I said earlier, it has its certain spots to where it shines, and that would be, say, horseback riding, uh, trail hiking, and uh, just a hunting scenario. I mean, I would love to put down a uh, white-tailed deer with one of these guns just to have that feel to it. I mean, it's very nice firearm and it feels amazing in the hands and the pointability of this gun is something else. I mean, you really have to pick one of these up to try it out for yourself, but you can point with one hand and right where you're wanting, uh, right where your eyes are looking is right exactly where you're gonna be hitting. And uh, just a very nice firearm overall and I really do enjoy this and I appreciate Taylor Firearms sending this to me to be able to review for you all. But if you have any questions about the smoke wagon tuned 4.75 inch barrel and 357 Magnum by Taylor Firearms, uh, leave your comments in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But guys, 100% stand behind this gun and I think you all will love it. So guys, appreciate y'all viewing. Like and subscribe for more gun reviews and I'll see y'all in the next video.